Right, okay guys, welcome back for another video. Uh, today we're going to be having a commentary video, which you've been asking for because you've been missing them. So I thought I'd get some uh, voiceover again on this one. We've got the Ninja 1000 SX out. Oh, bikers are out here, look. Uh, we've got the Ninja 1000 SX out. We're heading from Home Faith. We're going to go over Home Moss, down into Glossop, up Snakes Pass, and then we're going to flip over at tops over into Castleton. Uh, it's going to be about an hour's ride, so it's got a fair ride on it. Uh, but it should be enjoyable. Let's get on, let's get off, because it's going to be a long one, this one. And uh, let's enjoy it while the sun's out today. Lovely weather. Plenty of riders out. Especially now we're allowed here in the UK, everyone's jumped on the bikes and everyone's got out all they can. And uh, it's weekend, it's Saturday. So I just want to shout out for everybody that I normally do these videos uh, where we're riding around showing off scenery, like her moss up there, if you can see that. Uh, lovely uh, place up there. Uh, we normally do commentary videos, which I haven't done a right lot since we've uh, been into lockdown for obvious reasons that we can't really go out, you know? Uh, but seeing as we're back out of lockdown, I thought I'd start doing commentary videos again and uh, show you the scenery around where I live, around the Pennines, uh, Home Faith and uh, other local areas. I messed this corner up then, too much yapping and not enough riding. Quite windy up here, wind will die off when we get over the top, which is good. Um, hopefully the audio will improve as we get over the tops as well. corners these up here. I just need to learn how to take them better. <laughs> the scenery up here is unbelievable. It's even better coming down because you can see everything then. Better slow down a bit. Let's try to keep to speed limits. So we had a lot of bikers come up here. They'll all be parked in this car park here. Let's have a look. There's a couple there, look. So we're having an enjoyable ride today. <clears throat> like I said, we're going uh, from Home Faith to uh, Castleton. My uh, screen's flashed up saying it's cold temperature. Apparently it's three degrees today. We don't feel it. Lovely and sunny, as you can see. Look at the scenery. And this is what we're out for today. We're out for a good ride in the scenery. Her moss and uh, the valley behind it. Beautiful. So how is everybody? I've not spoke to anyone for months and months on this channel. Um, How's everyone been doing through lockdown? The dreaded word, the big L. I'm not back to work yet, uh, unfortunately. I do DJ in nightclubs, so hopefully that should be back on cards in June. Uh, I think it's June 29th or June 21st, one of them. Um, so hopefully I might have a good summer back in nightclubs if they reopen. I think everybody else should be back to work by then, hopefully. Unless you've lost your job. Um, and if you have lost your job, go buy a GoPro if you've got enough money and get on YouTube. Beautiful. 
And uh, guys and girls, because I'm not working yet, I need subscribers. Can you please subscribe to my channel? I think I'm about 500 subscribers at the moment. Uh, I need to get to a thousand, just so I can get make a few quid out of it, you know. Uh, top these tanks up so I can go on further rides weekly. It's not going to make a lot of money, it's just something to note really, but it'll keep me going. Well, that an R1, I think that were an R1 then. I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a valley you don't want to go off by accident. The rate dropped down there, I don't know if you can see it. Cracking views there. So if you've got a Kawasaki Ninja or a 1000 SX or if you've got a Z1000 SX uh, and you're in England, Scotland or Wales, Northern Ireland or whichever, um, I want you to join our group. Um, we've got a group on Facebook where we do bike meets. And I'll link it in the comments because it's a really long name. Uh, it's full of really nice guys and girls. There's no, no knobheads there, none of this. Um, jerking around and uh, bullying people on there, none of that. Everyone's really top guys and girls, and uh, we go out on rides. Uh, we haven't done any this year yet. Uh, I think Andy, who's the admin of the group, is set to uh, sort some rides out in the next couple of weeks, I believe. And uh, they're really great, you know, we all meet up all over the country, uh, anywhere from, from Wales to Lake District. We go down south. You know, we haven't done any Scotland trips uh, since I've been with them, but I believe they do go up to Scotland and stuff. And uh, I really need to fuck this polo off, to be honest with you. It's not coming, let's just do this polo. Through my head, you know, I'll get stuck behind the motorway for that. Um, yeah, so if you've got a 1000 SX, whether it's a Z1000, even if it's an older one, uh, go all, we go all the way back up to the new Ninja 1000 SX um, or if you just want to join if you've got a Kawasaki and you're a nice person uh, you're enthusiastic about motorbikes just just join us up we're all nice people and uh, it's not my group I don't even know why I'm giving a shout out but um, you know like I said everyone's uh, everyone's lovely right okay I need to think where I'm going here turn right I believe can't see a lot of traffic on this road. Car up my ass. Oh, look at these lovely reservoirs and stuff down here. God's own country down here, <laughs> lovely. Yorkshire. Sun glistening off water. Gets even nicer as we go over the tops. Right, we're gonna turn left uh, and jump down into Glossop over at Tops, up over Snake Pass. Uh, we're gonna turn right at la uh, Lake, uh, oh, what's it called? What's that lake called? Anyway, it's a big lake over there. We're gonna turn around right that lake. We're gonna follow it all the way over, uh, right over to Castleton. I'm gonna show you Winnett's Pass and uh, some lovely scenery that way. Can't beat it, it's cracking. More bikers there, look. Having a tea break. Just going steady here today. Enjoying it. We're not racing anyone, I'm on my own today. All my mates have gone to Scarborough. I decided I didn't want to join them, I want to film this video instead. Let's get over to Castleton, get that filmed. Problem is when I go out with my mates filming, they're all swearing and acting silly. 
and it can uh, ruin videos sometimes. I mean, they're all great riders, they're not acting silly up roads, they're just personality wise, they're all a bit of a pain in the ass. So, I try and keep them out of videos as much as possible. If Sean, if you're listening, sorry, mate. GSXR there. Oof. Love the sound of Suzuki's. Not that I'm knocking on Kawasaki because I'm not, because I love Kawasaki's as well. But we're not all about Kawasaki's here, we, all, we love all kinds of bikes. Look at all this. This is scenery, isn't it? Eh? Up in hills up here. Peak District. Start of the Peak District. Another biker. Ducati Multistrada, I think. A few people out there, weightboarding, whatever you want to call it. Kneeboarding, and kneeling down there. decide if this video is going to be too long if I leave it it's probably going to be about well less than an hour now over to Castleton I don't know I might edit it down and shorten it up but I might just leave it all on there can't decide we'll see afterwards we'll film it all and we'll see after I think I've pissed this car off getting up with our let me past it off again now, I've got another biker chasing me here. I'm not chasing you pal, I'm having a steady ride. Right, it's probably going to overtake me now, let's get him on. Come on pal. There he goes. Were you on an R1 then? I didn't see. Oh, somebody's calling me. Cardo, answer. Hello. Hi. I can't tell you because I'm filming a film. Uh, how long are you going to be doing it for? Oh, well, I'm on an hour ride bike right here. Can you wait till after? I don't want to give me national insurance number out on camera. <laughs> right, okay, I'll see you in a bit. Right. Oh, not if you heard that conversation, but my girlfriend ringing me up asking what my national insurance number was. Can't tell you that information, can I? Especially if I'm not editing it. Uh, I wasn't ready for this car now, I wasn't looking. Some of these are a bit blind corners up here. more uh, bikers coming past. Everyone's out now. Peace! GS's I think there. GS's don't normally nod to us inferior riders, do they? <laughs> do you get it? I'll tell you what, this weather is cracking today. Say it's a little bit chilly as well, you know. It's gonna be a long one this boys and girls if you get your uh, get your kettle on and get yourself a cup of tea. Enjoy this ride with us. I'm 
what we're doing here, 60. I don't really want to break speed limit because uh, people don't like it on YouTube. They send me comments telling me to slow down. Well, I don't ride unsafe. I wouldn't do that. I've got kids. 40 mile an hour. Oh, we need to get Andy over here one day. You know what? I'm going to message him for next weekend. Man, I think it's going to snow next week. Maybe a week after. Keep an eye out weather. We'll get Andy over one week. We'll do a run over here. He'll come over. I'm sure he will. Cheers. Two mile an hour all the way down. I think we're pretty much in the lovely town of uh, Glossop. I need to pull my pants up, excuse me, and my coat down. Fat man problems. I'm guessing I've come out a little bit late today really, I don't normally come out at half eleven, uh, sort of dinner time, noon time, normally out a bit earlier, nine, ten o'clock, a bit old bikers in the, they've already been out early this morning and shot out over the top, so we're going to miss everybody, unless we catch them coming back, I mean we could do that, I think we could turn left here. Out that big uh, junction at the bottom. I'm watching Crazy Legs video down here uh, yesterday, I believe. He came down here and got himself a sandwich from Garage at the bottom. And I think he did say run over to Castleton. Lovely place. Crazy legs, if you're watching, we're gonna have to uh, meet up and do a video together, mate. You're only in Penniston, you're only 15, 20 minutes away from me at most. Penis town. I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube now for saying that. Hey, oh, God. Turn left. Right, let's pull out. Oh, there we go, look. There's always a Suzuki, isn't there? He's gonna be arseholing it up here now, watch. As soon as he gets out of the middle of this village, of gloss up. Straight up onto Nate, Snake's Pass. Anyone here will pull that throttle back and be fucking gone. Oops, another blooper there for YouTube, sorry. Just trying to be myself, you know. Great lovely park down here, Manor Park. If you ever come over this way, you want to picnic, get yourself down there. It's right next to a stream. We all have barbecues and stuff down there. Lovely. Here we go, look, we're behind him. Tickling it away, third here. I can hear his bike over mine. Still got stock exhaust on mine until I get my next new uh, exhaust. You go, Mount Pal, you stay in there. Oh, you stay in there. Sounds mean, that, doesn't it? I think he's got an arrow exhaust on that as well. Oh, yes, very nice. With that burble. Excuse me. Long line of uh, slow traffic here out of Glossop. Prillia. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'm just hoping I've hit record on this GoPro. I'm doubting myself now whether I've hit record or not. Pretty sure I did. I'm going to be filming this all the way over here and then get there and I haven't even hit record yet. Can't see it mirror either. <laughs> Too low for me to get down. But yeah, if it's not there, I'll uh, record it on the way back instead. Still a good run on the way back. Oh, excuse me, when I've got an helmet on, sometimes I get a bit of a dry throat, like, end up coughing. Another group of bikers here, all right, all right, all right, pal. Here we go, look, start a snake's pass, told you, didn't I? Stuck now behind the next car. Oh, no, there he goes. Well, I can't see, so I'm not overtaking yet. Not as crazy as some of these other lads. Snakes Pass, notorious uh, route here up to Lady Bower. Lady Bower, what am I on about? Lady Bower's in lakes, isn't it? <laughs> Hey God, I don't know what I'm talking about today. You know what I mean? Stuck behind all these. Look at all that scenery on there. Beautiful all the way. Right, let's see if we can get past this chair. See at Leon around this corner, I can't quite see. Don't want to be overtaken in a car coming. There's already been enough deaths on this road. Right, let's go. Oh, he's got his brakes on. Hell. Excuse that. I uh, upshifted and caught it with my foot and tried to bloody downshift at the same time. Man, it's not the first time I've done it. I've done it a few times now. It's gonna have me off one day. I need to be careful. Scenery only gets better as we get further up. 50 mile an hour down up here, and we're doing uh, 30 for some reason. Hopefully, we can have a check a couple of these around this corner. Oh my god. Well, this is going to be a boring video at this rate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
upset that scenery when we get up here. Right up on top of uh, Pennine Moors now. Another one. They all park the cars here and go walking up to the top of that peak up there. I can't look at it because it's straight to my left. Bloody hell, there's a lot of cars up here, what's going on? All the bikers come up here, honestly. It's another Kawasaki there, look. Oh, aye. So you're all coming the other way now. They've all been over Castleton and that this morning, they're all heading back. A bit late to the party, I think. It's a little bit windy up here as well. <clears throat> that Suzuki got away, didn't he? He's not stuck behind these lot like me. It's carved out down here. Oh, yes. Sometimes come down here for a, bar, uh, for a bit of food. Like lots of streams that side of the road. You just pull over, park your car up, and uh, sit by a stream and have your dinner, you know. I think it's this one down here, there's a little stream and uh, <clears throat> a bit of a waterfall as well. It's only a little thing, but lovely. Yeah, it's definitely this one. Everyone's parked up, it's busy as hell, look. Probably can't even get in. Yeah, a little stream and stuff. I don't know if you caught that on GoPro. Holy gosh. It's going to be a steady one, this, boys and girls. So, how's everyone been coping through lockdown? What have you been up to? What have you done to keep your uh, mind at rest or relaxed while, uh, <clears throat> while you've been uh, on furlough or whatever? I'll tell you what I've been doing. Nothing. I've been busy looking after my daughter. She's uh, two and a half now. Uh, she's a lovely little thing. And uh, she's always happy every day, day in, day out. Triumph her. And uh, with me working nights normally, you know, DJing five nights a week and sleeping a bit through the day, and I don't get to spend that whole much time with her. I usually get a couple hours a day that I spend with her and weekends uh, sometimes. <coughs> So really I've just been looking after her, I've just been trying to be the best dad I can be, you know. It's been good. I've enjoyed it thoroughly so far. In fact when I go back to work I think I'm uh, going to miss it. Putting her to bed every night, which I'm definitely not going to be able to do. Because uh, I'm busy working. And I think she's been enjoying it as well, she normally asks for me, daddy, daddy, bed, bed, milk, bed. Uh, probably wonder where I've gone when it gets to bedtime and I'm back at work. I mean, it's, it's a toss to each side, isn't it? It's great because I've spent more time with her, but it's not good because she's not been working. So, like, you've got to try and find a happy medium, I think. I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to work, but I'm not going to do maybe as many nights as possible as I did before. Six nights a week, please. <laughs> I just nodded at police guy, fucking hell. Oh, my God. I don't even know if he nodded back, I'm going to have a look through the video in a bit. I know as I said in the previous video, some of you have been doing home bars, been looking really good. Been following them on uh, Facebook. 
and uh, that's one way you've been uh, stopping yourself from going mad just trying to live a normal life as much as you can I don't know, a lot of you been out uh, exercising every day, look at that all the trees are down there, I wonder what's happened there Kind of looks like they've been ravaged, doesn't it? I mean, if they'd have been cut down, they'd have been stacked up neatly, but they don't look stacked up neatly there. They're kind of like... Look like they've all been ravaged and uh, fallen down somehow. I'll tell you what's great about down here. Look at that up there. Okay, now. It's lovely down here, isn't it? There's lots of little rivers in the bottom. And uh, coming down with family, bring yourself some sandwiches. And uh, you can usually get parked up at the side of the road, jump over a fence, and go sit by the river all day. Loads of people do it, it's a, very common. Sheffield's only at birds, a lot of people from Sheffield come down here with their families, uh, sit by the rivers. Another river down there, look. There's an even better one further on. A lot of people camp there and stuff. Yeah, it's cracking. Cracking little spot. Just on my doorstep as well. Half hour, 40 minutes from here. Done. No. Who needs Scotland when you got this on your doorstep, you know? I'm not in a rush to overtake these cars, we're just having a steady up through. Bit of scenery. Uh, I'm going to stop by the reservoir to see uh, how long this video is going to be and make a decision whether... Whether it's maybe going to be a little bit too long to get all the way over to Castleton. Do we edit it? Do we keep it in one? I haven't made my mind up yet. I haven't been doing these since uh, lockdown so I'm a little bit out of touch. I need to do a few more and get back into the swinger. Uh, motor vlogging, you know. Can be a little weird when you first start doing these because really you talk to yourself and uh, you've got to try and imagine that, you know, these people listening. And everyone has different opinions, so you say something and someone enjoys it and somebody else hates it. Can't please everybody. I'm certainly not the best biker in the world, there's always someone pulling me uh, riding skills to bits. I'm just enjoying it. Do what you do, innit? it? Sure, uh, that's what it's all about. You buy a bike to feel free. Not to have someone moan at you. Bore off. Boring. It's no good being negative. Try to be positive for once. Too much negativity now on the social medias. Facebook's worst one for it. Amen to that. So uh, this river that goes down here, there's a little, uh, just on this corner somewhere here, there's somewhere you could pull up, and uh, just over that little brow there, oh, they're all down here, look, yeah, you can normally park your car in here, uh, and they all go sitting down there, they've got cows in there now, that's why there's no one there, probably done it on purpose, because a lot of people go down there and litter, so stuck cows in there probably to stop people going in. It is private land, unfortunately, but it is. When there's no cows in there with big horns, it is a lovely place to uh, go and stop for a sandwich and a cup of tea or whatever, you know. Potter tea, Potter Rosie Lee tea. A few one two fives going past there. I'm going to pull my jacket down, excuse me. Uh, 
Uh, lovely twisty roads up here. If you end up getting a, a good day where there's not much traffic, like me, I'm I'm not stuck in traffic, but I'm not in a rush to overtake everyone. If you get a clear road, it's uh, get a few of you out down here. It's cracking. You can really get lint over, you know, around these angles, these corners. Tell you what, it's quite chilly. It says it's six degrees on my bike. Bloody loads of bikers out. Problem is these gloves have got on. They've got holes in the summer gloves, really. And my hands get pretty cold pretty quick. Should really invest in some uh, <clears throat> ones that don't like winding, you know. Thing is, it's dead nice in summer. <clears throat> I haven't even got to that reservoir yet. Still got quite a long way to go here. I might even do this in two halves. That's what I might do. I might stop at the reservoir, part one. Uh, they cut it and then uh, upload part two, maybe a couple of days later. That might work better, might it? Because I can't see many people sitting down and watching this whole thing all the way through. I think part one, part two might sit uh, better. Especially if I'm not editing it. A lot, of, uh, a lot of trees around here, isn't there? More bikers, Yamaha, ER6N. Used to have any R6 in, they're not bad bikes actually. Oh, I'm not gonna overtake, just enjoy it ride. I think this is starting at a reservoir now where we're heading to. <clears throat> How long has it took us to get over here? 20 minutes, smart. really been uh, counting <laughs> see sun glitching off water through trees A lot of people come and walk all the way around this reservoir. Loads of them. Fucking thousands of them on a weekend. What else have they got to do with it until everyone's back to work and shops are open back up and whatnot? Hey, look, look, oh yeah, Lady Bower, I knew it was Lady Bower, why am I thinking that one in lakes? Look at all these lot here. Did it, did it. Everyone's parked up having a butter. We're just going to go a little bit further on before we uh, stop. Derwent Valley. They used to do dam buster stuff down here, didn't they? Mm. 
further we jump over now, I reckon there's going to be a lot more bikers. Jew cat there, they're all out today. So the story with this reservoir is apparently there's a little village in bottom. Uh, apparently there's dammed and flooded the whole village. Uh, apparently there's a church there and the church has still got spire on. Uh, and when there's been a lot of sun or there's been a bit of a drought around here, apparently uh, the uh, church spire can still be seen uh, popping out of the top of the lake. Never seen it myself, all right. Whenever I come over here, dam, dam's all, uh, lake's always full. Dam, yeah, as well as a dam, isn't it? Dammed it up. Right, okay, so, we're gonna turn right here. Shitload more bikers. Here they are, look, lovely, lovely jubbly. Let's go. Oh, I don't believe this. I've got me uh, trousers took over my peg then, but it's let go, so we're all right. I'll tell you what, we should do this in one go. I'm not going to edit it. It's going to be another half hour, I think, to Castleton. So you have to make yourself another cup of tea, I think. And uh, KTM. Can't tell what them others are. Pause the video, get a cup of tea on, come back. And uh, watch the rest of this video. Give her a wave on her camera. I imagine there's going to be, I've left my indicator on, excuse me. Uh, I can imagine there's going to be quite a bit of police out around here today. So let's try and stick to some speed limits now. More bikers up, GS, I think. Or would it a Triumph Tiger? Keep it with a GS. Oh, look, Bamford. Another little village down here. And if you keep an eye out, sometimes a lot of these little houses in these little villages, they've got dolls that they put outside their house. I've not got a clue why, but they do, and uh, there'll be loads of them outside each house as you're going along. They're there all year round, they don't even move them. Quite interesting really, especially if you're a bit younger and uh, you've got kids and that.
keep following the road until we get to the garage. There's going to be a garage quite a bit further on the right hand side. And um, we just bang right and follow it even further. So we get to Castleton. Cracking little villages down here, but problem is we're not being open at the moment. I don't think there's a right lot to do here. Even local shopping were close. Uh, look at a bakery there. Going back in time a bit there, I think, aren't we? Now they were. Uh, one of them puppets outside there, them dolls. Give them a nod. So, sorry if you're watching this and it's really long. Um, like I said, I haven't got back into the swing of motor vlogging yet. If you live, uh, if you're not from this part of the country and you want to come up and have a ride out, drop me a message we will team up and I'll take you over at Peaks, over at Pennines uh, There's some lovely rides over here, you can get lost for hours and hours and hours and uh, it's all just the same around here, village you know, a nice little quaint village and then there's uh, lots of uh, hills Lakes. It's great. Right, okay, I think this is garage down here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna turn right here. Yeah, there's always loads of bikers parked in here as well. Right, what happened then? Oh, weird, me guess won't go down. Africa twin. You're right. Castleton and Hope and Chapel in Riff Riff. Famous stop off point that garage there for bikers. You want a sandwich? Well, there's your place to grab one because there's not many other spots on here really. Everything locked down at the moment. Probably about another 20 minutes on this video, I reckon. But the scenery does get better and better, so stay with us. Don't log out yet, keep on. Don't go anywhere. Make yourself another cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you need. If you're from America and Canada, I don't think you drink tea much over there, do you? Australia. It's very much a British and uh, sort of Indian thing, isn't it? Tea. Cup of tea. A great cup of tea. <clears throat> so we've got a few villages to go down here and uh, once we sort of get out of these villages I think we've got to go through Hope and then we've got Castleton village a little bit further on and uh, as soon as we get out of Castleton we've got this like amazing uh, pass it's called Winnet's Pass and it's like being carved out of a massive hill going up it's not as good as going down uh, unfortunately we're going to be going up uh, we're going to have a park up but I might film going down as well and stick that on the end of the video because going down is so much better for scenery than uh, going up 
and you wouldn't if, if you didn't know where you are you wouldn't have a clue that you weren't in Scotland or something around here once you get up onto these uh, peaks cracking oh yeah look Hope Village thought it was There's a castle on here as well, that's why it's called Castleton. Yeah, they've got themselves a little castle up on top of it. Village. And uh, it's not very big, but it's uh, very nice. I think Castleton's a day out on its own, you know. Especially when everything's open, there's a lot of cafes, a lot of restaurants, pubs. Um, Loads of places to walk, there's loads of caverns around here. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do in this area. So there's lakes, all lakes around here, you go doing water sports and all sorts. <clears throat> if you're not from the UK and you want to travel to the UK, I highly recommend uh, coming to this sort of area. Or even York, I really love York. York city centre is such a great place. And uh, York City Centre used to be a, a massive castle there. <coughs> and all the city centre, right in the middle, it's all got, still got these uh, castle walls all the way around it. And there's a lot going on there, there's a lot of museums, and uh, I think the King of England used to live there back in the olden days. And if you've ever watched, High, uh, if you've ever watched uh, um, Braveheart, they ransacked York, didn't they? And, uh, all that uh, history is down there. William Wallace uh, ransacked it. Uh, yeah, he destroyed it. Very, very quaint. Lots of pubs. I think it's like Yorktown Centre's got the most pub in any city in UK. It's like they're everywhere. Hundreds of them. I mean, there might not be as many now since lockdown. Some of them might have closed down, but. <coughs> Sherwood Avenue. I think we're coming through Hope now, Hope Village. Another great little village. Thought there'd be more bikers down here, but I uh, haven't actually seen that many yet. Give me hope, Joanna. Oh, Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, when the morning comes. Damn, that's a big one. Big ass. Yes. Trying to stick to, um, <clears throat> Speed limits here. Going with the floor, you know. Old bridge. Will the biker come in? Nearly everybody's nodded, I think, so far. Everyone must be uh, in a happy mood. Makes a change. Look at that, lovely fields. We're just going to start getting up towards peaks now, I think. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, everyone's nodding again. Everyone's happy now, aren't they? They can all come out on the bikes, not been out for a year, pretty much. <coughs> now everyone's got back out on the bikes, so all happy. Another one. Another one. 
for like DJ Khaled, another one. If you get that reference, might be too old to get that reference. Should be, right, we're coming into Castleton now. If you, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it on GoPro. If you can see up there, there's a castle up on Ridge. It's only a little. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Right where me fingers pointing there. Quite a bit of a trek up there because you've got to walk up from to, uh, village centre. Certainly had a strategic advantage anyway up there. Check out all these pubs as we go through. Memory Lane. Peak Hotel. Look at this bike, BMW R1250. So we've probably got about another five, five, ten minutes left of this video at most, and then uh, that's it. That pub on corner there, you old nag head. Oh yes. Another pub, another pub there, another pub. Three or four pubs all in one region. Another one round back, unless that's the same one. Look at all these people. Blue John Jewelers. Outdoor shop. Yeah, there's everything here. Back from a garage, that seems to have gone. Petrol garage. Right, so right in front of us up there, if you can see it, that little uh, gully, <laughs> uh, that's when it's past, we're going to go up there. What we're going to do, we're going to go up, I'm going to go park up, and then I'll film it coming down and I'll stick it on and, and end the video. Excuse me, I'll keep putting it into neutral. It's my fault, it's not the bike, I'm a shit rider. <coughs> Gets very, very busy up here. <coughs> right, I'm going to turn left. <coughs> God, excuse me. <coughs> if you can see them up there, they're hang gliding. Loads of them up here. We get the uh, air drifts coming off the uh, side of the hill. Quite steep up here. Sometimes you get some idiots that just don't know how to go up. End up burning the clutches out up and up this hill. Calling people walking up that hill there. That is steep. Christ, sheep, you've got to be careful of sheep up here as well. Knocking you off your bike. Right, check that out, eh? Look at that, can you see that? <laughs> that is scenery, eh? I'm trying to keep my head up so you can see everything. Alright, alright, pal. Alright, yeah, not bad, yeah. Alright, pal. So much better coming down. You over the top of it then coming down you can see everything. Another hand glider up there. Too high, I don't think you can see it. We're gonna have to come back down here for sure. It's so much better coming down. 
Right, we're stuck in a traffic jam now, up a steep hill. They're filming on the GoPro, aren't they? Gonna need some clutch control up here. Who's gonna stall first? Oh, better be careful of this car, don't I? Let's not get too close to that car. I'm gonna roll back. Oh, God. Tell you what, it's quite steep up here. Might not look it on GoPro because it's flat, but um, <clears throat> when you're stuck in traffic like this, it's a pain in the ass. Stuck behind these push bikers up here, I think. Cyclists. <clears throat> here we go, we're at the top. Must have iron calves coming up there on a cycle, on a bike. Look, you know. Anyway, you beautiful people, a couple of minutes away from the end of this video. If you've managed to stay with us this far, congratulations, well done. You've probably had uh, three or four cups of tea by now. It's been a long one. Uh, don't go anywhere yet, actually we've got a few more minutes yet. Oh, let me get out of here. Here we go. No climbing all the way up there. Fucking hell. That's alright. Trek that. Can you see them all walking all the way up? They're just going up to get a selfie. That's what they're doing. Instagram. Right, okay. We're going to turn right down here. There's a bit of a car, lovely little car park down here. Slow down mate, don't run me off my bike. He nearly went into the back of me then him. And uh, pull up and we'll end this video. Look at all these cars. Hang glider there, can you see him? That little shed down there, that's the entrance to a cave. <clears throat> well, a mine really, because it's all been mined out by hand. <coughs> and it goes right into into side of hill there. Never been in, but um plan on doing when it all opens back up. As soon as we get to the bottom of here, it's end of the video. I will film going back down. And I'll stick it onto end of the video as a bit of bonus footage. It's busy down here, I tell you. Another biker down here. I don't think there's going to be anywhere to fucking park. It's that busy. Cut that for scenery. See if we can get in there, look. Alright, okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, dislike, share, whatever you want to do, just do it. Well, we're all going here. <laughs> that is a noisy bike. <laughs> Lovely jubbler. It's 
Let's have a look at this scene now. Hopefully we'll pick all this up. It's only been about two minutes, hopefully. As long as there's no traffic jams down here. We're taking pictures of sheep, isn't it? Don't want to know what's on your computer, lad. There you are, look. So yeah, check this out as we get down here. Hopefully this GoPro will uh, do a good job of this. Can't help but being here and seeing it for your own eyes. When they're gonna go down steady. I'm not gonna say out. Amazing. Right, that's it, we're at the bottom of Winnet's Pass, it's only short. And uh, check all these sheep out, look, all just at the side of the road. <laughs> right, that's it for this bonus footage, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.